Gathering of Nations is celebrating 40 years this weekend. The gates at Expo New Mexico opened at noon today and our Brianna Wilson was there as the crowds braved some traffic in a small bout of wild weather. She explains though, it was all worth it for a spectacular performances you're only going to see right here and once a year. Thousands of people are gathered here for opening day of Gathering of Nations where there's food, art and of course dancing. Whether it's outdoors or the main floor inside Tingley Coliseum, dancers are putting the wow in powwow. People from Europe come to be a part of it. People from uh, the Netherlands have come. Uh, there's a whole group of elders from Australia that are here because of the horse parade. The arts and crafts, hey, have you ever been shopping? Oh my God, take your wallet, <laughs> take your money because you will find something that you can't live without. Despite some crazy weather at the beginning of the day, gusty winds, light rain, and let's not forget the miles long traffic to get into the parking lot, everyone we talked to inside said they were having a great time. So many people here, it's my first time here and I enjoyed it. This is our, our boys' first time coming. The traditional dances are what people told us they were most looking forward to. Oh, they were speaking about the smoke dance. We were looking forward to that. Well, it's always been a passion of mine in order to show my daughter how to dance and know her culture. This year is her first time actually enjoying it and actually dancing and catching everybody's attention. Co-founder Dr. Lita Matthews said the dancing at the powwow is healing, especially for Native American communities still recovering from the pandemic. I think we all have to still be conscious of the fact that uh, COVID isn't gone. The people are cooperating in every kind of way and they're going to keep us safe. So we can, we can all relax a little bit and uh, just enjoy the fact that we're together. Donate Life has become an important part of Gathering of Nations over the years, which is why coming up in our next half hour, we're hearing from two women who received the gift of life. Without one of those women, this event wouldn't be possible.